Talk about epic cliffhangers. Over the course of the season 5 finale of AMC's Better Call Saul, plenty happened, but nothing was really resolved. Still, the episode, ominously called Something Unforgivable, was overflowing with important developments. Let's break down exactly what happened. Rattled by the fallout from their tense confrontation with Lalo and the rest of the Salamanca cartel, Jimmy and Kim decide to cool off for a couple days at a local ritzy hotel. After their first night hiding out, Jimmy makes his first of several half-hearted appeals to Kim, urging her to leave him. And though Jimmy claims it's the last time he'll make the mistake of getting involved with organized crime, he doesn't seem to have a way to get out, and he knows it. Despite Jimmy's overtures, Kim heads out in the morning to work, where she's accosted by her former boss, Howard Hamlin. Howard tells Kim about the bowling balls Jimmy used to destroy his car and the prostitutes Jimmy sent to disrupt a business lunch, and suggests that Jimmy's influence has already hurt her. And that's it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Despite his namaste license plate, it's pretty clear that Howard still assumes that every lawyer is in it for the money. Jimmy has to be manipulating Kim into quitting her high-profile client. After all, why else would Kim ditch her corporate law job to take on pro bono work? Howard's accusation crosses the line, and back in the hotel, Kim and Jimmy jokingly spar back and forth with increasingly elaborate plots to destroy Howard Hamlin, until things get serious. What if Howard does something terrible? Kim proposes setting Hamlin up for some kind of misconduct that might result in a career setback, anything from disbarment to imprisonment, which would force his law firm to settle the Sandpiper case in haste. Viewers will remember that the Sandpiper case is the massive class action lawsuit that Jimmy initiated on the first season of Better Call Saul and passed off to Hamlin's HHM for a referral fee. Once that case settles or reaches a verdict, Jimmy is entitled to roughly $2 million. But what Kim is suggesting is criminal conspiracy, the likes of which even Slippin' Jimmy is taken aback by. Kim's journey has always been a moral tug of war between Jimmy and Howard. While Kim has been drifting toward Jimmy all along, she's always kept one cautious foot in Hamlin's world, until now. Now she's all in on Slippin' Jimmy McGill as a way of funding her own pro bono law practice, for better or worse. And with season 6 being the final season for Saul, what better way to close the circle on this conflict than to bring it all the way back to Sandpiper? It all begs the question, however, why do we never hear about Kim in Breaking Bad? Committing a crime in the name of a greater good doesn't have a history of working out well in the Breaking Bad universe. The more action-packed half of the episode takes place in Mexico, where Nacho Varga has been suddenly enlisted to help execute Lalo Salamanca in his own beautiful home. Varga spends most of the episode quietly pretending that he wants to join the Salamanca cartel. Lalo seems eager enough to take him under his wing and even introduces him to the big boss, who ultimately approves of the new recruit. Varga's face throughout all of this buildup is as inscrutable as ever. He's either having some serious second thoughts about taking out Lalo or on the verge of throwing up from the pressure. Varga has only one job, leave the back door to the Salamanca compound open so the Gus Springs outlaw SWAT team can get inside to assassinate Lalo. He manages to get to the door in time and escape, but the assassination team bungles the hit. Lalo escapes through a secret tunnel, then circles back to pick off the hitman who infiltrated his home. Of course, a ten of viewers likely knew Lalo survived. Jimmy was still terrified that Lalo was after him during the events of Breaking Bad. Lalo didn't send you! No, Lalo! Now, Lalo knows exactly who wants him dead enough to violate the sanctity of his home. Bring Mike, Jimmy, and Varga all better be on notice. Except, how will they ever know? As far as anyone in America knows, the hit was complete. That's going to render everyone sitting ducks when Lalo inevitably returns and the Salamancas bring war across the border. We know Jimmy, Mike, and Gus survive into the events of Breaking Bad, but where's Kim? The finale opts for the cliffhanger ending, but we can all anticipate what's ahead. Better Call Saul is renewed for a sixth and final season, which should return to AMC sometime in 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.